I'm an eyelid. I can talk. Hello. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another lion dance repair video. Um, today, gonna be restoring a lion, one of our precious lion. Well, she's gonna be restoring it, not me. I'm just gonna be helping or watching. He's gonna be watching too. So, we're supervising. So, this lion actually looked really, really nice when they first came in, but someone decided to dance in the rain. And now the first all messed up and everything. So, Gonna replace the fur, make it look brand new. Someone decided to touch the ear and tear off the ear. So she gotta replace the ear too or fix the ear. So I guess in, the vi in this video, you will learn how to fix the ear. Uh, do some paint job. Yeah, this is kind of messed up. Some paint job. So we got new fur. Gonna look, make it look brand new, hopefully. If you don't know how to take the mirror off, this is how you take it off. Flip the line over. And then there is this wire right here. You just untwist the wire and then the uh, mirror will come off. So how do you take the fur off? You just slowly peel the glue off. And then I cut it and it's like stuck to the paint. So you don't peel the paint off. Yeah, just make sure you peel slowly and a uh, glue gun. Uh, no, not glue gun. Heat gun. Heat gun. Heat gun. Heat gun also helps too. Most of glue. Look at this line. It's so cracked. So are we going to repaper this too? Yeah. So you're going to repaint all this stuff? This is cracked really badly. It's gonna be like a two month project, I quit. Pom Pom created a big hole in the lion. Gotta find some way to tie this down and add more paper here so it doesn't make a hole bigger. Heat gun is very dangerous, you can burn the fur. See it change your color? Ooh, it's hot. Gotta melt the glue. After you melt the glue, it should come up a whole lot easier. It don't burn itself. It burns. <clears throat> ow. Ow, ow. You can repaint that. <laughs> the line is now naked. Lick it, lick it, lick it. Now, I don't know what we're doing. I'm gonna go home. What are we doing now? What are we doing now, boss? I'm gonna just call up China and order a new lion and we are done. That's how you restore a lion. All right, we're committing. We are going to take all the paper off of here, repaper it, and Try to repaint it. Good luck. The ear is de-papered. Now we are gonna put some more gauze and then repaper it. To make the glue, you can watch my dragon video. I taught you how to make the glue in another video. Just got done putting the gauze on, let it dry, and they got a paper and a paint. This is a long process. We just doing one ear first to see how it turns out. If it turns out good, then we do the other one. It's gonna be a long project. Gonna start working on the horn. The horn is dented, so we're gonna cut all this out and fix the frame and repaper. Cut the hole. I just gotta push this out. The wire was harder to bend than expected, so I had to cut this off so I could use pliers to bend it. Okay, 
okay just we gloss the horn and we papered it now we gotta let it dry after we dry we can paint a white base and then we paint the details on it Alright, finally back at the temple. It's been over 24 hours. Paper is dry, but it is very, very thin. Doesn't even look like it's um got paper. It feels really soft. I'm I'm gonna have to put another layer on here. Let's see what she's been doing. Not bad. Repapered whole ear. Started painting. Looks pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. I quit. You quit? Okay, let's play frisbee then. Oh no! Oh shit! No. It's wet. <laughs> what, what what you been doing? Fixing the mouth. The mouth was pretty in bad shape, right? Yes. And you took everything off. Yeah. So you know how to put the good back on. Mhm. Mm repaper right here. Gotta repaper that. Other side. Just need repaper this. I'm also we're putting paper over here on the pink. We'll repaint the pink part. Yeah, the mouth was pretty bad too. Looking good? Yo, um, I don't know what day it is, but it's been a long time since I've done anything on the restoration project. It's been mostly Felicia and Kenny working, working on it. I did such a bad job papering. Look how wrinkled it is, dude. Man, it should be smooth like this. But that did really bad on this side. I don't know why. Right here is kind of going up too. Man, I suck at papering. Papering is hard, dude. Look at that. He is so ugly. So ugly. Ugly. Kenny's working on the mouth. We papered the whole back thing. Painted the back. We paper a little bit on the front. All that stuff is really bad, but I think Felicia's too lazy to paint it. I don't blame her. It's a lot to paint. As long as it's functioning, it look a whole lot better. Yo, she repainted this whole ear, man. This is legit, dude. It just needs to be glossed now. But this look pretty clean. Dang. Let's compare. Original. New color is not exactly the same, but I mean it is what it is. It's pretty legit though. It's pretty legit. Looks nice. She complained about my papering job and it's too wrinkly. So, so now she's gonna cut it. Don't cut yourself. Yeah, oh. Line was fixed, now she broke it again. I'm gonna work on this part to stop the pom pom from moving so that it doesn't make the paper any more bigger. In order to do that, this is the pom pom uh, metal, metal stick thingy. So I'm just gonna have to somehow tie this to the bamboo so that it doesn't move anymore. See how it's moving? I just gotta keep it still. Gotta use the metal wires and tie it. Okay, now it doesn't move, I just use some wires tied it against the bamboo right there so now it doesn't move mission accomplished front view moves a little bit but i mean it's gonna move a little bit but as long as it wasn't doing what it was doing before so now i just gotta paper that and we're good to go to 
put the fur on lion now. We gonna do the rabbit fur first. This is a whole piece, just gotta cut it and glue it on. So when you cut the fur and you don't want too much fur to come off, you should lift and then you cut. If you put it flat against the table and you cut, you're gonna cut a lot of fur. So make sure you lift it and cut. Just don't cut yourself. Let's uh, do another one. Uh, you want to want the same thickness? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it should be good. All right, it's easier if you have someone to hold the ruler down. So you cut in a straight line, and then just lift it up and cut. you go you got your strip of fur easy peasy Washing it you want to glue on top of the last fur instead of next to it glue on top and kind of like flush That's how you put on the fur. Yeah. And now we have to do the whole line. Yeah. Yep. Update on the line. I don't know what day this is. This is day week three, week four. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be a two day project. We added a lot of rabbit fur. I got to fix the LED. Rabbit fur over there. Cut the ram fur next. It would be good to go. Looks really nice. We didn't uh, repaint all this, just too much work. This is the mouth, brand new, repaper. Looks really good. Both ears, almost done. Time to attach the beard to the fur. I made a video on this already, so click the video on the top. Is it left corner or top right corner? Top right corner, click that video to see how to attach the beard. After very much struggle, finally put the beard on. Don't know why it took me so long this time, but it took me close to an hour. That's bad. Putting the ram fur on the mouth, you have to cut some of the fur so that it can bend nicely or curve nicely. <laughs> You want some of the ram fruit to hang off the mouth. So this is ram fur, not sheep fur, because I like ram fur, ram fur is cooler. You gotta cut it. It's a whole lot thicker than um rubber fur but same process when you cut it. So we got to cut the strips for the eyes, 
area and it's pretty thin. I cut it a mouth earlier, which was easier because it's thicker, but this is thinner. It's going to be pretty hard. Okay, just like two centimeters. Should be good. Yep, yeah, that's good. That's no small dog, man. Just remember to lift the fur up so you don't cut the fur. I'm going to cut the back of the fur. Almost. It's a little bit thicker. It's fine. More Ours fluffy. The one you cut is a little thicker? Yeah. yeah. More fluffy. Yeah, the thicker you cut is just more fluffy. It is the more more fur you have. Trimming some of the fur to make it more even. Line looks so naked. Cut it seven strips of fur for the eyes and the nose. Lines coming together. Woo! Yeah, blink the eyes. Nice. Blink fast. Not bad, not bad. Looks so clean. All we got left to do is the other side, uh, the ears, and the horn, and that's it, right? Yeah. And put on some trims in the tail, and that's it. Long process, but it's worth it. Looks nice. Gonna try to attempt to clean the tail. Uh, it's kind of stained up and dirty with all the firecracker dust. But we're using OxyClean. OxyClean and laundry detergent. See how it works. Just pre rinse the tail with water, get some stuff off first before we use the OxyClean. Pouring hot water in it to mix with the OxyClean. Then we would dump the tail in and let it soak overnight. Tail is soaking overnight. The tail has been washed with OxyClean, dried and whatnot, rinsed. You see this part is uh, clumpy from being wet. It's kind of yellowish, but after you comb it out, it does look a whole lot better. It's more white. So, yeah, it kind of does work. Looks a whole lot better than before. Pretty big difference. Just when you comb it, um, just hold on to the fur so not as much come out using dog cat brush. So just comb it out like that. And big difference already. Yep. After, before. show you all how to attach the ear onto the head. You take the ear, you stuff it, you shove it in, and you're done. All right, just kidding. Um, actually, it's pretty easy. You need wire. 
I will provide to you some thicker wire than this. This is this is 18 gauge. I will use something thicker and harder so it doesn't break as easy. But this is all I have, so this is what I'm using. You have these two loops. You just stick the wire through the loop. In the line here, you have you have a loop too. You stick the wire through the loop. That's how you attach it. Uh, if you make the wire straight, it, it's a bit easier. So you just stick the wire through, stick the wire through here, and then I loop it one time, loop it one time so it stays, goes back up, and it's connected. Only thing is, you have to tie the string on the inside so you can control it, but in that, it is connected. Easy peasy. Now the ear works. Yeah. Today's the last day, right guys? Yeah, last day. Last day, it's been like four weeks. I think we're finally done. Final touches. We're just adding trims on to different places to make it look a little bit nicer. No trim, a little bit of trim. Makes a big difference. Line is finally done. Officially, replaced all the fur, repainted some stuff, cleaned the collar. We painted this whole horn. We painted this whole ear and that ear. Looks so much better, looks almost brand new. We painted this whole mouth. Good job. <laughs> See where those. Yeah, looks good. Add it from here. Add a trim here. Well, then it add, replaced it, replaced the trims here. So, yeah, we are done restoring this lion. We spent maybe around $150 to $200 in parts to restore the lion to make it look brand new. So, I think it's worth it if you have a lot of free time and you know you're short on money. 200 bucks to make your lion look brand new. That's not too bad. It's just very time consuming though, but I think it's worth it. Especially if you really like that lion. It did everything. Good job, team. Good job, guys. Seriously. Fun project? Yeah. For four weeks or so, right? Yeah. It's for free. So, hope you all enjoy the process. Um, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.